Uh, when you have an aneurysm, you know, you, you bleed into the brain. Sometimes you hear people have a stroke and they bleed into their brain. Uh, the surgeons will go in, they'll clip the aneurysm so that it can't bleed out. It's like clipping a bubble on the side of a blood vessel. So the same thing we can do here. So this is a, a skeleton of a, of a real patient. They took all the tissue off. So I cut across here. If I press there, I get rid of it. Then I can turn the skeleton. And I can see the blood vessels. And I'll circle for you um, the aneurysms were in the middle cerebral artery, and these are clips right here, that there was a scan done of the clips. And there have been a lot of famous people you know that have had aneurysms clipped, um, but this would be another way for a surgeon to approach on how they, would, uh, how they would attack it, because sometimes the blood vessels aren't exactly how you would anticipate them to be in an anatomy book. And this way you can get the live imagery. There are ways you can dissect animals in here. There are all different kinds of disease states you can put in here. Teach medical students how to uh, evaluate the lungs for cystic fibrosis or pulmonary fibrosis or uh, tumors. Um, so this is an incredible teaching tool. We were very fortunate that our Upstate Foundation donated the uh, approximately $100,000 to get this table. And from uh, the company has told us there are only 19 of these tables in the world.